Turn and happy Sabbath to you on this eighth day of November 2014, the 15th day of the eighth month on God's holy sacred calendar, the Hebrew calendar. I'm not on screen with you this morning. I want to go right to Mr. Armstrong for a short, short excerpt from something we actually played um, in September because I want to emphasize this because of the news. I was up almost well, not all night, but a good part of the night, and I mean a good part of the night and morning, we morning hours, going through uh, news stories that are breaking. And in part two today, I'll be back later where you will see me on screen, as I go through some of the news that's been happening within the last 24, 48 hours. But I want to go straight to Mr. Armstrong now, and I want you to hear how what he was saying before he died relates to today's world news. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Herbert W. Armstrong. What's going to happen in the world from now? Is World War III imminent? Is it being started? What is going to happen? Catastrophic events are prophesied from here on. They're going to affect you. Now, we've been going through an outline of prophecy, and in the book of Revelation, you find all of the prophecies of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation coordinated as to time sequence. We found that the main prophecy begins in the sixth chapter, and there, when Jesus is opening the seals, he is the revelator, and still what is revealed to us is merely symbol. And so we still can't understand, but Jesus is the revelator. He is the one who reveals and who can make us understand. And so just as Jesus Christ did reveal the meaning of parables in plain language to his disciples, so we find that he does reveal in plain language the meaning of these symbols. They are confused, and the very beginning of all of this Babylon and this confusion comes from confusing the Great Tribulation with the time of the plagues or the day of the Lord. Now, the Great Tribulation is the time of the wrath of Satan the devil. Now, let's read it. Let's go right through it. The day of the Lord is the time of God's wrath. There are two different times, and something divides them, and his angels at the time of his second coming of Christ. And he is going to gather the elect out of their graves and from the four corners of the earth to meet Christ in the air. They, my friends, are the elect. And for the sake of some of those who had grown lukewarm and who had not been taken to a place of safety, and that taking them to a place of safety is right here on this earth and it isn't any rapture up to heaven at all. Now here's the first horse, which is the false preachers and the false Christs. And the second seal, the red horse, is the war. The climax is finally in world war. The seal, Jesus explained, interpreted for us, is famine. And the seal, the pale horse, pestilence or disease. Now next comes the opening of the fifth seal, and here it is. See if this isn't the great tribulation. And I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God. They're already at this time martyred. The 18th chapter, in the 10th verse, standing afar off, the merchants of the earth and so on, and the great men, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Parted as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. What is going to follow? The signs in the heavens, the sun, the moon, and the stars, and then the day of God's wrath, the time of the plagues. Turn real quickly, my friends, back here to Joel. And the second chapter in the 31st verse. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord. 